hello everybody. It's a bit chilly tonight, so we're all rugged up. Right, so today I want to speak to you about words that have the same spelling, but a different pronunciation. And with the different pronunciation, it changes either the meaning or its function in the language. So for example, read, you know, that's in the present, but read is in the past. Or another one, I live in La Genoa, but right now I'm alive on my mobile phone camera. So my first word for you is T-E-A-R. So when I'm sad, I shed a tear. But when I'm mad, I might tear this paper up into tiny little pieces and throw it on the floor. Right, next word is W-I-N-D. So yesterday was a very windy day. There was a lot of wind. But if you have an old clock, grandfather clock or watch, you have to wind it up. Next one, B-O-W. So, Katniss Everdeen in Hunger Games had a bow and arrow, and my shoe, if I can show it to you, has a bow on the lace. But if I were to meet the Queen, I would have to bow. Next word, R-O-W. So, there is a row of cars in the street because nobody can drive anywhere because we're in quarantine. But it's also a verb to row a boat. But if I change the pronunciation, it becomes completely different. Row means to argue with somebody, and to have a row is to have an argument with someone. Next one. When you come late to class, you say, Excuse me, madame, I'm late. I missed the bus. And I say, Well, I will accept your excuse. So, excuse me is the verb, excuse is the noun. When you finish high school, you become a graduate. When you finish high school, you have graduated. You graduate. Different pronunciation. First for the noun graduate and verb graduate. And the last one is invalid. So if you're sick, we could call you an invalid. I-N-V-A-L-I-D. But if you haven't renewed your Navigo pass, it is invalid. So, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Practice your phonology and remember different pronunciation, different meaning. So, make sure you get it right. Bye!